These striking techniques are practiced before each jiu-jitsu lesson and enables a student to build up strength, speed and power. The students encouraged to use both left and right punches and kicks to promote all-round flexibility. In the event of an attack, the student should be able to block and counter-attack using any hand or foot. Now we move on to basic jiu-jitsu blocks. Upward rising block. Downward inside forearm block. Upward inside forearm block. Downward X block. Upward X block. And cross block. These techniques are assimilated into a set pattern called a kata or form. This is the first basic blocking kata for white belt. Basic blocks are followed by reflex training. Focus your eyes on the center of your opponent's chest and deflect his punches using downward parries. The attacker begins at a slow pace, attacking with either hand, gradually building up speed and power. Momentum can be increased as the student gains more confidence and awareness with regular practice. All escapes from the front strangles begin from this position. Step back, protect your face, break attacker's grip and strike to the side of the head. This is the second variation of breaking a front strangle. Punch the solar plexus whilst pulling down on the elbow, push against the jaw, step forward exerting pressure on the elbow. This is the third variation. Step backwards, uppercut, take attacker's wrist and step forward pressing on his shoulder and head, exert pressure on the wrist. This is a close-up view of the lock. Note the downward pressure on the shoulder. Breaking a back strangle. Place arm around his waist, strike to the groin, pull on the elbow and take to the ground. Strike to the head and groin and apply lock. Technique number three. Step forward, back fist to rib cage, swivel on left leg, placing your arm around the waist, pull on the attacker's arm, throwing him to the floor, strike to the eardrum and groin before applying the lock. Note the restraining position on attacker's arms prior to the throw. Straight arm lock. Block punch, protect against further attack, pivot to the side and apply arm lock against joints. Note the inverted wrist lock. Now you can see the benefit of the protecting arm. Block punch, push elbow away, invert the wrist, step across and apply arm lock by pushing outwards. This is a close-up viewed from a different angle. Shoulder lock.
block and swivel, apply shoulder lock and kick to the face. Note the concentrated pressure using two hands. This technique can be developed by taking the attacker to the floor and applying head or neck pressure. Hip throw. Step to one side, place your arm around the attacker's waist, bend your knees and throw to the ground. Strike to head and groin and apply lock. Note the foot positions, striking points and the lock. Recumbent ankle throw. Block and step to the side. Place left hand on the floor and slip your left foot behind the attacker's left ankle. Thrust your right foot into the side of the attacker's knee. Pull your right foot back for maximum power and kick to the groin. Note the pressure applied to the ankle and knee prior to the kick. <laughs> 